Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. So today we are going to cover delete operation for two strings. So we are given an input of two input strings that is word one and word two. We need to make the word one to word two by deleting characters from both the words. So here the output we need to return is the number of characters we need to delete from both the words to make them equal. So let's understand it with an example. So here is our first example. If you see the word S1 that is SCAC and word S2 is EAT. So now what are the characters we need to delete to make them equal? So consider we are deleting the character S. The word S1 becomes EA and we are deleting the character T and the word 2 becomes EA so they are equal. Now we have deleted two characters so our output is going to be 2. So how are we going to approach this problem? So we are going to discuss two different algorithms for the same problem using dynamic programming. The first one is longest common subsequence. So longest common subsequence is a familiar DP problem. We have already covered it in our uh, channel. I have given the description below. You can check that for detailed explanation of what is LCS, that is longest common subsequence. So now to understand this problem, I'm just telling you what is the longest common subsequent in a quick overview. So consider S E A and E E A T. So what are the common subsequence in both the words? So if you consider words C and eat, you have E A and E A in common. In this case, the common subsequence in both the word is E A. So now you have to delete E A from both the words. For example, if you are deleting EA, the word becomes yes. And if you are deleting EA from word 2, the word becomes T. In this case, these are the two characters that are odd from both the words and 2 is our output. So how do we derive at our output? We are going to get the longest common subsequence between the two words and gonna delete from the total length of two words that subsequence length twice. That is the total length here is 6. We are going to take 2 into length of common subsequence that is EA2. Because we are deleting twice. Once from the first word, once from the second word. So we are going to multiply it by 2 since we are deleting it twice and subtracting it from the total length. Now what we get is 6 minus 4, 2. That is our output. So let's see our first approach here. So this is our example, delete and lead. So what is the common subsequence in both the word? If you consider L, L is same in both the words. Again, E and one E is same in both the words and T and T is same in both the words. We are not including this E and this E because it should not change its order. We have already T here this e comes before t and this e comes after t. The subsequence or sequence that are in order, we should not change the order. So the common subsequent both the word has is l e t. So now manually if you see, you want to change from the word delete to lead, what are the characters you will be deleting? In this case we will be deleting d, e and last e from the first word, three characters and one e from the second word, one character. So the total is 4. Output is going to be 4. So now let's see as per our formula the length of both the words is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the total length of both the words is 10. We are going to subtract twice of the length of common subsequence. This is the common subsequent present in both the words. So the length is 3. So 2 into 3 is 6. So 10 minus 6 is going to be 4. That is our output here. So as we have explained in our video longest common subsequence, we are going to approach this using dynamic programming where our both the words represent the rows and columns of a integer array db. We are going to calculate the solution for each and every sub problem and arrive at our solution at here. The last cell of our table or our array. So 
now let's start now we are going to arrive at our solution here this is what it is going to get the longest common subsequence so what are what are the characters common between the words see and eat will be present here so let's start from the cell one so now we are going to compare an empty string with an empty string what are the common subsequence between both the empty strings no there is no common subsequence so it is going to start with zero so now moving on to this cell we are going to check with the, what are the common things between or uh, characters between an empty string and the substring e no nothing so we are going to put zero again now we are reached the substring ea and an empty string there is nothing in common so we are filling zero finally eat and empty string is also zero now let's fill the column in column we are going to compare empty string and the string yes no common subsequence again se and the empty string and sea and empty string there is no common subsequence so the row and column filled with zeros so now starting from this cell we are going to compare what are the common subsequence between the string yes and e because this cell represent a sub problem which actually determines what is the longest common subsequence between the string yes and e so again it is going to be zero because nothing matches s and e are not equal now moving on to this cell it is going to check what are the common subsequence between the string yes and e a again nothing matches we are going to fill zero so finally e a t and s nothing matches zero so coming to this e and e are equal so the common subsequence here is one and e and e a if you see e and e a e is the common subsequence in this case you are going to fill one again so finally e a and e a t also has one common subsequence so if you observe how are we filling this table we are just comparing if the characters are equal if this is equal we are going to add one from the previous solution so where is where will be our previous solution here so from the previous solution we have found one more match in that case we have one more character that is we are going to plus one in the next step so considering here we are comparing what are the common subsequence between yes e a and e in this case we have one we are just putting one if you observe the pattern it is going to compare which is the maximum of these three and going to take that so moving on to s e a and e a we have two characters in common so we are going to put two it is nothing but comparing maximum of these three and we have found one more match so we are adding plus one so now moving on to our solution cell we are going to check which is the maximum of these three that is two we are we, we are checking whether a matches t no a doesn't match t so we are going to put the same solution two so finally we are arrived at a solution two which is the longest common subsequence so from the total length that is six we are going to minus the twice of the common subsequence and get our output so this algorithm runs in order of m n where m is the length of the string one and n is the length of the string two so let's go to our coding and see how we are going to call it so here's our code for longest common subsequence where in my first step i'm declaring an integer array dp of length of length of word one and word two as rows and columns now i'm going to iterate from zeroth index to the length and if they are zeros and zeros it is going to be filling zeros in both first row and first column so we are simply ignoring if there is a zero and zero that is if it points to a first row or first column now from second row second column we are going to check whether the character matches or not if it is a match then we are going to add one from the solution of the previous step if not if there is no match then we are going to take the maximum of the other two cells finally this dij is going to have that is the last bottom cell is going to have our longest common subsequence where we are going to add the length of both the strings and subtracting the common subsequence twice from the length 
we gonna get our output. So let's run. Yes. And yes, our code is accepted and runs in seven milliseconds. So now our second approach is going to be same as that of this, but instead of calculating the longest common subsequence, we are directly calculating how many characters we need to delete from the string. So let's dive into that solution. Now let's take the same example and fill in our table DP. So let's start by comparing the empty string and empty string. We don't have to delete any characters to make them equal because they are already empty and equal. So we are starting our table with zero. So now moving on to our second cell, we are comparing the empty string matching the substring E or not. No, E is an extra character. So we are removing E. So we are adding one and make them equal. So moving on to a substring EA, an empty string. So we have to delete both the characters E and A to make them equal. So in this case, we are putting two here. So moving on to our string EAT and comparing it with empty string, we have to delete all three characters to make them equal. So fill in the column. We are comparing the empty string and the substring yes. We have to delete yes to make them equal. So we are putting one here. So now moving on to yes, E and empty string, it is going to be two and finally it is going to be three here. So moving on to our cell here, we are going to compare how many characters need to be deleted to make the string yes and E equal. In this case, we are going to delete both the characters S and E because they are not same. So we have to delete both the characters. So we are putting two here and comparing yes and EA, nothing matches. So we are going to put three here as we are going to delete all three characters to make them equal. So finally comparing yes and EAT, none of the character matches. So we are going to put four here. So if you observe the pattern, you are entering the values. It is just comparing whether the characters matches. If they matches, it is going to take the value from the previous step itself. Because since the character is matching, we don't have to delete it. We save one operation. If not, if the character doesn't match, it is comparing these three cells and taking the minimum of these three and adding one. Because why we are adding one? Since till the previous step, we have deleted few characters and we have the value. We found one more mismatch. In this case, we have to delete one more. So we are putting two. So moving on to this cell, we are comparing the substring yes, E and E. In this case, E and E matches. So we are not going to delete anything. We are just going to put the same value as that of in our previous step. So we are going to retain the one here. So moving on to this step, we are going to check E and A matches. No, in this case, we are going to take the minimum of these three cells and add one. So again, E and T doesn't match. So we are going to take minimum of these three and add one. So minimum here is two, adding one will give us three. So moving on to our final A, we are going to compare S, E, A and E. So we are simply comparing A and E are equal or not. No, they are not equal. So I'm going to take minimum of these two and add one. So minimum is one, adding to one will give us two. So here A and A matches. In this case, we don't have to delete that character. We are retaining the same value as it of our previous step. So I'm putting one here. So lastly, comparing A and T, it is not matching. So we are going to take minimum of these three and adding one. We are arrived at our solution two. So now manually, if you see, you are going to delete S and T to make the characters EA equal to EA. So now we are deleting two characters. That is what the output here at our last cell. So now let's go to our code. So before going to code, this again runs in order of M N, where M and N are the length of the string one and two. So now let's code. So here is our code for second approach. It is a little modification than our previous approach. That is like in previous approach, we have ignored our first row and column because they are all going to fill with zero. But here we are updating that first row and column with i plus j. And moving on to uh, the following steps, 
we are comparing the characters if they are equal we are just going to put the same value as that of the previous steps and if they are not equal we are simply going to take the minimum of these two cells and adding one to that cell uh, it is just a little change from a previous approach that is we are going we'll be adding one in this step and choosing the maximum here and tweaking these changes we can change the concept and finally we are arriving at our solution at the last cell of an array and we are going to return that our solution so now let's run now our solution is accepted you can uh, check other problems with the same concept in my channel i have given similar problems in my descri description if you want any other problems to be solved you can comment below and i'll try to work on them thank you thanks for watching the video